on what you need to tender to the police on demand at any checkpoint or on routing patrol is your vehicle license, driver's license, and certificate of insurance for private car owners. And these three documents are what is or what should be required of you. Any policeman demanding for more is a deviant and must be dealt with. If any, many Nigerians will suffer from, you know, people as these who are, according, in, according to his words, deviants. He says to you, do not die in silence. Speak out to save yourself and others. Nine zero. What are your difficulties with, you know, using the highways, the thoroughfares, driving when you get stopped? What is required of you? And in the in the events or say in the instances where you have provided sufficient documentation for your vehicle, what happened that you believe is an infringement on your rights, abuse to your person, and whatever else happened, which I'm not sure. Yeah, on this restful day, I think before law uh, ends us, I close around, I walk in VI, I close around 11.30 just to get to a Jabo stop. I see a team of policemen just stop me and say, hey, young man, where are you coming from? Mm. I said, uh, I've come from work. One of them did not even wait. Say, uh, should I? One of them asked, that, should I see your ID card? I say, look at my ID card. Just slap me. Say, get into the bus. There are some other three girls with some boys inside. They took us to Ajue police station. I slept mm. there. They just take us and they just drop us in that police station. Other people, uh, another police set of police people take over. We, did, we didn't see those people again. The next day, they say we should bring 30,000 naira each. I tried to present my ID card, telling them that I came from work. They refused. They don't want to even entertain. So a lot is happening in this part of the uh, world. Honestly, yeah. police, I don't know. They are not our friends. So me, <laughs> I marked, the, I marked the, the guy that slapped me. And I told him. Except I did not see him. I will pour acid on his face. Oh, no, no. I mean, would you still want to do that? I, I think you should forgive him. Really. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. I, I, I it's let really look offended. at the all over my body. Nothing. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. I told him. Except I did not set eyes on you. But you have forgiven him. Yes, because it's been long. Oh, yeah, great. It was heavy on my mind. I was looking for him every day, but I couldn't see him. I mean, it's not like you move around the streets with acid in your purse. Every night I come back from work, I'll be looking around that places. Except I don't see him. I said, if I mark him, if I see him, I'll pour acid on him. I bought acid. I was working with my acid. Have you? He was just extremely lucky. Have but you God destroyed? Me. Okay, great. Hallelujah. No police. I repeat, no police can fight for anybody because I was had an experience with a police guy who stabbed me eight times. I went to the area commander here in Alimosho. They asked me to go and settle with the person that they cannot form in contact with anybody like a police. Even the um, area commander then, back then, one Mrs. Tony, huh? I a man friend who is a cultist. So what will I do about that one? How did you know she had a boyfriend who's also a cultist? Yes, I eventually met her in a very big bar, sitting down with this particular guy. So if you tell me to go and have a uh, encounter with police, no be me, I know that you are bossy. Oh, you don't know on. anything that we, we are facing under here. Oh, come on. The thing that we are facing. If you advise Nigeria, to go in a counter with a policeman, let that person first lay down his life. No, I, I'm not asking. Him off. No, I'm not asking you to have an encounter. I'm hoping that your lives are. If you bring out your phone, your phone screen will first damage because it is slapped with gun, and your phone will first fall inside the canal. I know everybody that is listening right now. You know what I'm trying to say. Me, I'm taking you down to this our dance stream yeah. at the Nigeria. Yeah, I get it. They will slap your face. They will mash you with their ugly boots. They will beat you to stop up. Even if you go to the station that somebody is intimidating you, yeah. they will tell you to go away. They want something that will bring money. Okay. Those useless men in black. Oh, hold on. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I get it, because they're bad eggs. But is it possible that there are good people and there are people who intend to... No hold? good one. If you are a police, that is one of my friends who is a policeman. And he had to resign because if he did not join them, he cannot beat them. 
Wow. They will set him up. The Nigerian police are the problem of this country. Okay. Well, look, they, we they have a... the problem. The major problem. When I went to Ghana in '99. Well, I entered Ghana, hello, can you hear me? I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah, I went to I'm Ghana in, 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 in year 99. The Ghanaian uh, police, they were, they are, they are respectful. They will, they will greet you as a human being. As if, is it, how can police be greeting a person like this? It's like a paradise. But when I went back in 2010, Nigeria police are co corrupt them. They are even behave like us now. Yeah. I am, te I am telling you. Okay, is it so possible? Nigeria police is the, is the, is the mirror. Uh, hold of hold on a the second. The police of the country is the mirror of that country. My friend, do you understand that the police is actually a part of society? The men and the women who make up the force are also people of society. They're a product of society. The police will be... When I enter Ghana for the first time, the way Ghana police were behaving, that's how police should be. Yeah. The police is a, is a refugee. A police station is a refugee camp. When oh. somebody, you know, you have in issue place of in refuge. society. Yeah, I get it. The you guy run to says the something. It, you have issue with people in the, in, the, in the world, and you run down to police station. If they see that they are not going to get something from you, they will not attend to you. They will not listen to you. Well, it happens. Yeah, yes, no, I'm no not way. denying it. Nigeria police is the problem. If we can fix Nigeria police, Nigeria, Nigeria would be good. Yeah. Well, my son was admitted in general hospital, and we spent one week there. And you know that when you are admitted, you are not allowed to stay in the world with the child. You have to stay outside in the cold. Okay. So I want to tell you, Joyce, for one week, between the hours of 11.30 and 4 a.m., you, we saw different police vans coming to deposit bodies. They will come to the emergency and take police and take doctors' reports and go to the morgue and deposit the young, young, fine-looking, well-dressed young people. Joyce. No, sorry. Pa no, pardon me. Bring it back. God knows that went over my head. What did you say? I said during the one week of my stay in General Hospital Likorodu. Yeah. Between the hours of 11.30 and 4 a.m., yeah. you will see police vans, pickups, coming to deposit bodies of young, young, young men, well-dressed, Joyce. They will come to the emergency and collect doctor's reports to go and deposit those bodies in the oh. morgue right there. There oh. are a lot of innocent people. Oh. I can tell you, all across our police stations, because they could not, they don't have money to bail themselves. Oh. Wait, and the because Nigerian doctors are actually giving out police reports? They do. Um, they do. They do, because it's all, it, it was what I experienced. Wow. I had a recent experience mm. that it was just, I closed late on that particular day. Yeah. Around there, and I was coming. I got garage. I couldn't get. But the Okada that picked me up said he cannot go beyond Ginty. Okay. The Okada man stopped me at Ginty, and I had to walk down to Kilitu. Mm. I've not even walked up to up to like two meters. This police just just they just come around me. What happened? What is, they ask questions. Show them ID card. They yeah. said no. They had to drag me into the Kuroke bus. They brought and drove me down to Ijede police station. Kept me there till the following day. I slept there. At, se at 7 a.m., they called every one of us that were arrested for the same purpose. For one, they said it's wondering. At past, past 9, 9.15, wondering. 9.15 p.m., wondering. In a place, a country where I was born and bred. Wondering. Okay? Yes. Is that a crime? Nine I mean, I don't start closing late from office. Go ahead. That's not even the issue. In the morning, they called us out. They had to told us, okay, if you want to leave, uh, you have to pay 30000 30, That's where we started the problem. I said, oh, God, what offense wow. have I committed that will make me cough out 30000 Wow. Just because of that thing I made, I spent extra two days in that cell. Two days extra, my sister. Two days extra. Wow. Just because of that statement, they say, ah, so you are the one that no book, you are the one that is Leonard, you are the one that no law. The next thing, the guy, I, I could even mention the name, the, name, the, name, the name of the guy, I remember the person is hey, Ayo, Ayo, they call him AY. He kicked me immediately, caught the gun. The next thing, they took me back to the cell, I spent extra two days. 
Wow. So I don't have any option. I just have to talk to my people. Please gather the money. I don't want to die here. They gathered the money and I left. After three days, we uh, paying 50000 Yeah. So if I had, you can see, so sometimes when people call to talk that Nigerians are ignorant, I keep on laughing. I'm telling you. It's not that we are ignorant, but we are dealing with people that doesn't have conscience. As in, their conscience is totally dead. 